Okay, we're going to install the new Design Magic add-on and the Design Magic K-Packs to show you how you do that. First off, I need to mention that you need to have KitOps installed to have this thing work. So go ahead and get KitOps, either free or pro. It, remember, it works much better with pro than it will with free. Free doesn't have the snapping. It doesn't have these nice favorites and all this thing. So go grab KitOps. And then if you're having trouble installing that, we're just going to go to this URL here, http colon forward slash forward slash cw1.me forward slash install kit ops. And this is a video that'll tell you how to do that. Once we've done that, then you're going to basically want to install the Design Magic add-on. Okay, so what we want to do is first we're going to download all the files associated with Design Magic. So here I have them all. I've got a zip file for the Arch 2050 master folder. I've got Design Magic master folder. This is version 1.0, version 1.0, and my DM MetaShape add-on, which is version 1.0. So these are this is the add-on, and this is the actual K packs. So let's go ahead and let's expand these. So we'll extract these. And then we'll extract this one. Okay, now we have the K packs expanded and extracted, but we're going to leave the add on as a zip file because we install it directly into Blender as a zip file. So let's go back to Blender and we'll go into preferences and I'm going to go to that folder and here's the MetaShape zip and I'm going to install it. And here it is installed. And all I need to do now is just hit this button, check it, and notice down here it says DMM. And here it is, and it's ready to go. So if you have your preferences on turned on auto save, then you're going to want to hit the save preferences button. Next, we're going to want to install the K packs. We'll close this and we'll go directly into our KitOps add on. And we have a general and we have file pass. And in the file pass, what we'll do is we'll hit the plus button and we're going to choose a path now. So I'll go down in here and I'm going to look for that folder that I was just in. And I'll select this Arch 2051 and I'll keep clicking until I see a bunch of these K packs. So this is our master folder. These are our K packs. I click again, these are all the files. And I just need to want to go up one level from the files and say accept. And there it is. Let's do the same thing with the second folder. So we'll go into here and design magic master folder here. So this is the one we want. If I double if I click into here, you'll see here are the files. We go up one up from the files and accept it. And then we'll close this and we'll go into Kit Ops now. And you'll see when we click in here, all these red icons at the end. Now I want to move these to the front. So I'm going to go back into preferences. And in here, I can just basically click here just to move this up to the front. Okay, and then hit the refresh button here. And now you'll see that these are all at the front. Now the other thing I can do is that when they're here, I'm going to go ahead, I'll grab, I like to do the solids first. And I'll hit a star button there, and then I'll move it over. So there's the solids. Then I'll do the plus next, hit the star button, and move it, move it over too. And then I'm going to add the minuses, star button, and you get the idea. So what I'm doing is I'm actually setting these up as favorites. Now again, you got to have KitOps Pro in order to do this, but I'll do this for all of my K packs so that I've got that set. And now that you're you're ready to go, I mean you can just basically select something, you know. You know, you want to add something to it, you know, just add an insert, scroll, you know, move it over here. Let's go into uh, smart mode and we're going to mirror that on the X axis. Boom, there it goes. So you're off and running. So that's how you install KitOps Design Magic. One last thing I'll mention we also have documentation. So if you go to this URL, http colon slash cw1.me forward slash DM docs, it'll get you here. And we've got a bunch of documentation on how all of this works. If you run into problems, you can jump over here or you can actually holler at us on our Discord, which is shown here as well. So thanks for watching. See you online. Bye.